Good morning, good morning. It's Kitty, proud to be your thought organizer at declutterthebrain.com. Happy Wednesday to you. Yep, it was happy hump day. Yeah, it's your, you're halfway through. You're doing well, and maybe you don't work Monday to Friday. Whatever, whatever. Have an amazing day. Have a wonderful Wednesday, as it were. This week we are talking about decluttering your outdoor space. Now. The, whether, whether it be a small balcony in an apartment or a larger balcony or a, a, a huge deck outside, outside your house uh, or even a sunroom, it can get neglected. And what a shame because that can be used as uh, for, for so much. It's basically an extra room that you're paying for in, in your home. So why not use it? Why not treat yourself? You can use it for, do, okay, well, the first thing you want to do is determine its purpose. What do you want it for? Do you want it as a, as a, uh, a solitary space for yourself to unwind or contemplate or meditate? Or do you want to uh, invite people over for barbecues? Maybe you want to do a little bit of both. Uh, maybe you want it as a kid's space, creative space, anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, but once you have some sort of why, a purpose, kind of like a, a, an end vision, then it makes uh, the decluttering and cleaning process so much nicer. It really, really does. I'm thinking that, well, I am about to do that myself. I don't have much room, but I'll put some, put some plants in. Uh, I've started that already. Uh, yesterday we talked about what a mess, oh uh, yes, uh, overwhelm where to start where do where do i start uh where do i begin right michael uh <laughs> yeah okay so calm down and discard the obvious trash all right there are going and you're going to be surprised what's out there uh you i've i've seen coffee cups from the previous fall mm -hmm. and i've i, I <laughs> Lots of stuff. And of course, you've got the inevitable weeds and just flotsam and jetsam that is kind of blown onto your space. So remove the obvious trash and that will make a huge difference right away. And also remove anything that you won't be using, that you know you won't be using in the very near future, like tools. I said yesterday that my, my father would would leave to you know a hammer or a screwdriver or whatever outside and then wonder why poor fellow would have wonder why it was rusty the next day um, but anyway remove and you can remove that rust by the way with a little CLR and it's gonna come out good as new there's a little bonus tip for you um, so remove anything that you won't be using right away and remove the obvious trash now today out of sight they have wonderful patio storage boxes. Uh, you could and you could use uh, you could use rubber made plastic the the big plastic totes, or they have attractive out, outdoor storage uh, boxes out there. And what you can do with these is you you can throw all of your odds and ends in there so that they're they're handy and yet they're protected. What kind of odds and ends you ask? Uh, perhaps gardening supplies. Um, uh, toys, the beach ball, whatever, whatever the kids are playing with. Excuse me. You may want to uh, different box for, for your for your outdoor cushions, anything like that. But if you can have them uh, just all tucked neatly into boxes, oh, your your visual senses will thank you for this. Okay, so today invest in some storage boxes, whatever they are. But first, take a look, assess roughly how much you're going to need, and you can even categorize it. Get a couple of small boxes for small categories, whatever it is. And that's how I help people, is I, I, I am not an organizer. I help people to declutter their space and brain so that they can be profitably productive. But I do help people with um, kind of seeing the big picture and narrowing it down. Would you like to know more about that? About how I work with people? All right.
scroll down below down and now you go the link will get you to download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter and there's also a book a call button and we'll have a quick and free chat and i'll see if if you have a clutter issue because not always they sometimes people don't really and if we are a fit for me to help you to get decluttered for life faster than you ever thought possible. All right, till tomorrow when we give it a clean sweep. Bye for now.